Okay, for the first step in your mirror image design, you're going to be folding your tracing paper in half long ways like that. And you're going to be working mainly on one of the long skinny sides. Make sure that the fold is on the left hand side and it opens like a book to the right. Now we're going to be selecting which shapes to use in our mirror image from your Pinterest board image sheet that you put together. Um, from this example, this is one of the drawings, but you can use your, your drawing or your photographs to use as reference because we're just looking for basic shapes. So it'll become more obvious as the demo goes on what we're doing and why we're doing it. But I'm just going to angle my tracing paper. I can see through it so I can roughly see the edge of the shell that I'm going to use and I'm just going to trace around the outside of it not worrying about detail or anything like that and I'm going to move it away and see how it looks okay so that's half of my abstract mirror image design you can also start to combine or overlap shapes so I could put the seahorse's um, kind of nose area inside the shell shape that I've traced. This is taking your design to a whole new level. The next stage in the process is to be completely obscure. You're using shapes within shapes. It hasn't to be realistic, it's just to be a really interesting arrangement. Um, so you can just keep thinking about what you want to add next, where it's going to go. And because it's going to be eventually a mirror image, you're going to have double what you can see just now. Keep spinning your page round the wrong way, turn it upside down, um, check if things are going to look more interesting if they are at an angle or try them straight up and down. Um, slide your tracing paper about so that you can really play around with the design before you've even committed to drawing any of it. So remember you can just take very small areas of shapes. You can use half of an animal's eye or a bit of a flower, it could just be the very, very edge of it you use. Um, and again, put different textures and patterns inside the shapes from other things. So I'm using the kind of lacy effect from the deep sea here to go inside the shape of one of my other items. You can keep flipping it over to see how is it gonna look once it's coming through, because eventually you're gonna be tracing the other side of the paper. So you're going to be tracing the lines you can see. So you can start to do that and open it out and think, oh, okay, I like what I've got here, but I need something bigger. I need to add a big dramatic shape. It's looking too skinny. Um, so you can start to trace it on the other hand, on the other side and fold it out and see how it's looking and then modify it as you go. <laughs> 